guys, it's Half I am back in. This is going to be an update of my Project 50 Pan Roulette. It's actually been almost a month since I updated this one, um, which I was trying to do a bit more often, but, you know, life and stuff. Um, I'm not going to go through the ones I've used up so far. We're at, like, 26 or something, and it just takes forever to go through it. When I do my finale, though, I will um, go through everything give like a mini reviews and stuff. I have finished off two more things and I have almost finished a third. Um, so I will be drawing three things today when I get to that bit. So first of all, the things I have used up. Um, the Swiss Rosehip Facial Moisturiser. I finished this fairly quickly because it's only like a 10 mil sample. It looks like there's a tiny bit left in it, but I can't get any more out, so I'm not going to cut it open. So that is that one. And I finally hit proper pan in my Honolulu bronzer from W7. Um, I sort of hit pan on the side here where it broke, but I hit pan here doing my eyeshadow. So. That's why it's a small spot. Um, I've basically moved on using other bronzers, so I really hadn't been touching it too much. And the other thing that I'm almost done with is the Chapstick Lip Balm. The nighttime side is actually done. Like, I can't roll it up anymore. I'm not going to dig it out. And the daytime side... has that much left in it. Um, that's maybe a week of use left in that. So, um, yeah, not going to be too long at all for that one. I should know by now not to roll them up because they don't roll down very well. Um, okay, so those are the the three that I'm going to pull new ones for today, um, which will bring us up to 29 products, I believe, we that we have used up. But first of all, I will go through everything else that I have not used up. Most of this doesn't really have much progress on it. The MAC Vegas Vault lipstick uh, pretty much still looks the same. I have used it a couple of times. Um, it just sort of... the the shape on the end changes slightly um, because of the way that I actually use it. But yeah, it still pretty much looks the same as it has for absolutely ages. Uh, the next one is the iTeeny Swizzle Stick from iTeeny uh, in Midnight Cowgirl. This is mainly what I use to tight line with. It's um, there's been a little tiny bit of movement. I used it as a, uh, I used it as a base for an eye look, and I still didn't use very much. So the blue line is where we are now. So I mean, I have used quite a bit of it, but um, it's broken in the container though, so I have to be really careful um, that I don't wind it up too much. Otherwise, I can't get it back down and it like falls out. The next one is the Essence Eyebrow Stylist. Um, I will, of course, insert pictures after I've shown you. Um, so you can see the progress that I've made. But I've cleared out all of this bit that was up here. And I'm working on this bit down here to basically flatten it out. I'm almost to the point of taking this out of the project and... Um, just adding something else in because it's been in for ages and I've made pretty good progress I've like more progress than I thought I was going to make actually so um, but we will see I have lots of different eye product eyebrow products that I'd like to try out that I just haven't been able to uh, next we have the uh, ultra olive Eye pencil from Starlux. Uh, this has made a little bit of progress in the last month. I mainly only use it like underneath my eyes. 
but that is where we are now, where the blue line is, that's where we were last update. So, it's a fairly soft pencil, like if I use it um, on both eyes, like today I did under my eyes and along the lash line, I had to like sharpen it in between to actually use it. So, it goes relatively quickly, if I use it all the time I could probably get through it quite quickly. Uh, the next one is the W7 lip product in, well, pink. Um, I have used it, I think, once, but it doesn't look any different. you think one that size, most people would have already used it, but not me. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in uh, 15 Fair. It just fell over. But that line there is approximately where I am. I think there was another mark in between, but um, it keeps on rubbing off. Um, but that's basically where we are now, is almost at the bottom of the barcode. So it's moving along nicely. I quite like it. It might actually be a bit lower. It might actually be down here, but it's really hard to see through this. And it doesn't always want to slide down like I want it to. Uh, the highlighter to hit pan in was the Inglot 85. I have not actually been using this one. I've been focusing on the highlighter that's in a different project. So... I think I've used this like once. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to hit pan in that one. It's not my favourite. Um, the next one. Sorry, I forgot to mark something. Uh, the Maybelline lip product in Very Cherry. I have used this maybe once or twice. <laughs> I, have, I honestly haven't done makeup a lot in the last month. Um, I did do it a bit, but I've been um, starting other projects and using other stuff, so don't always use those. Um, but it has not moved from the last time. The NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I kind of had to today, like, swirl around the sides to get any product out. So I think this one might be getting near the end. Um, it is quite manky on the inside, which is what happens, but I'm not sure how much product is left in there. It's one of those ones that you'll know when it has no product in it. Um, the L'Oreal Lip Liner in Nudes for Life. I have used this a couple of times, but when I measured it, it didn't actually look any different. So, um, I think it's because the, I've kind of like used it down on the side, it's sort of like, I don't know if you can see like the sort of angle. Um, so lengthwise it still looks the same, even though the, the product's actually moved. I know I've used it, it just... It's not going very fast. Um, then we had the Overtime Shadow from the Models Prefer Shadow Palette, um, which was right here. I had another shadow from a different palette, which is in one of my other projects, which is almost the same color as that one. Um, and this one was about half a pan, and it was about half a pan as well. Uh, so what I actually did is I um, broke them both up and I repressed them into this one here. So this is the two of them together and it is really thin in there. There's not a whole lot of product in there. Um, but that's what I decided to do. So I just keep on using it and we'll, we'll see where we get. It was sort of more over the side. It's very thin around the edges. I tend to concentrate my brush around the edges. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like a two for one for both projects. And the one that I added in last time was the Maybelline Shadow Stick in Touch of Toffee. I have used this, I think, once, maybe twice. It doesn't look any different than what it actually looked like last time. Um, is one of those ones that may well just get decluttered. Um, not my favourite product, but I kind of want to give it a chance first before I do that. 
So I am going to pull three things out of here. Of my little jar, which is getting, it was like super duper full and it's, it's not quite so full anymore. So one, two, and three. Okay. This one actually says cream eyeshadow. I'm actually going to not do that one. I've realised I really don't like cream eyeshadows all that much. I have a lot of them, but I don't really like them. Okay. Let's see this time. Okay, so this one says primer. One says colourful eyeshadow. Like I don't have enough of those in products. But I'll put one in. We'll see what we come up with. And eyeshadow pigment. This project is trying to kill me. I cannot do this. Okay, so for primer, um, I pulled out my teeny tiny sample of the Benefit Professional. I've nearly finished my L'Oreal uh, Base Magic, which is in a different project. Um, so I will put this one in. It's only a 3ml sample, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, the eyeshadow pigment, I decided to go with a fairly neutral one from Glamour Doll Eyes. Um, I got this from Tamara J ages ago. Um, this is Obscure. And that is what it looks like. I'm seriously not expecting to finish it. But it's a fairly neutral colour. Attempt to give you a swatch. I can use it as a uh, crease colour, which is good. Now for the colourful eyeshadow, um, I figured I'd pull out my Kat Von D Metal Mattes palette because I am already, I already have uh, Nebula, which is this blue one here, in a project. So I thought what I would do is um, put in what? which is the one next to it, which is more of a greeny type of one. I've just got jet on me. Gross. They're so pigmented, they go everywhere. <laughs> they go everywhere. Um, yeah, so I'll give you a swatch of what? So that right there is what? Um, yeah, so it's just colour to play with. So those are the three things that I am adding in to this project. If you want to see all the other products I've already used up, then I will link the uh, last video down below, which will show you all of them. Um, yeah, and that is it for this update. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up if you like project band type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.